The image you see on the slide depicts one of the circles of hell, where the great Italian poet Dante Alighieri, together with his guide, Virgil, the most celebrated of the ancient poets, listened to the evil Bertrand de Bourne's speak through his severed head. Dante portrayed de Bourne as one who planted ungrounded assumptions in others, something we'll be exploring in detail in this learning module. We begin this module on fallacies of presumption by looking at the mistakes in reasoning we'll be examining. The first of these concerns circular reasoning, which has a split personality. When reasoning is viciously circular, it's bad. When reasoning is benignly circular, it's okay. In conjunction with circular reasoning, we'll look at the fallacy of begging the question and some notions associated with it, including begging the question against and the so-called burden of proof. Then we'll look at complex question, false alternatives, and the fallacy of accident. All these fallacies have something in common. They rest on questionable or debatable presumptions. And what do we mean by a presumption? It's a background belief that we take for granted. Anytime we adopt a debatable assumption in an argument, we weaken the argument to the point where it becomes fallacious. Here's an example of a presumption at work. We see an image that depicts a boy delivering a partridge to a gentleman who stands before his very grand house. The title beneath the image says, Never judge people by externals. The boy asks, Is this Squire Brown's house? And Squire Brown promptly and proudly replies, It is. The boy then asks if the gentleman is Squire Brown's butler. The squire indignantly replies, I am not, to which the boy responds, Then whose butler are you? Obviously, the boy has made an enormous assumption about the gentleman's status. This concludes this segment of a multi-part lecture on fallacies of presumption. Please proceed to the next segment.